Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That. Today I'm going to talk about the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back action figure Bosk. By the time the Empire Strikes Back hit theaters in May of 1980, Kenner had been selling massive amounts of Star Wars figures for a couple of years, so they were ready with 10 brand new action figures to coincide with the new movie. The 10 new figures included the Bespin Luke Skywalker, which is one of my all-time favorite Star Wars figures, and several figures from the part of the movie that took place on the ice planet Hoth, which I absolutely loved as a kid. But the line also included two new bounty hunters, IG-88 and Bosk. Now when it comes to bounty hunters in the Star Wars universe, Boba Fett was obviously the star of the show. He had already been featured in the cartoon part of the Star Wars Holiday Special in November of 1978, which was honestly the best part of the Holiday Special. And he had also been released as a mail-away exclusive action figure in 1979. He was also the only bounty hunter that got any real screen time in The Empire Strikes Back. The other five bounty hunters literally got less than 45 seconds total of screen time in the entire movie. But Bosk was the only bounty hunter, aside from Boba Fett, to have a speaking part. Well, sort of. He was speaking in an alien language, but you could still tell that he was menacing. Even if it only lasted for a few seconds, the camera does focus on Bosk briefly in the scene with the bounty hunters, making him stand out from the rest of the pack. The first time I saw the Empire Strikes Back figures, I hadn't even seen the movie yet, so all I knew about Bosk was what I could figure out from the package. I knew he was a bounty hunter because it said that right under his name on the card. I also knew that he was a greenish, reptilian-looking character who carried a weird gun and wore a yellow flight suit. Interestingly, the exact same flight suit was used in the cantina scene of Star Wars for some random space pilot. And apparently before that, it was featured in an early episode of Doctor Who. Honestly, after seeing The Empire Strikes Back, Bosk wasn't exactly the first character who came to mind when I thought of the movie. If right after I had left the theater, I'd been asked to give a detailed overview of the movie, I don't think it would have occurred to me to even mention Bosk. However, when it came to the action figures, Bosk played a much more prominent role in my playtime. His brief appearance in the movie, combined with the action figure itself, left me knowing that Bosk was one bad dude who you wouldn't want to mess with. I didn't need to know any more than that to enjoy playing with the action figure. However, over the years, I did learn more about this mysterious space lizard. Although it's never mentioned in The Empire Strikes Back, in the expanded Star Wars universe, we learn that Bosk was a Trandoshan who specialized in hunting down Wookiees. He piloted a ship called the Houndstooth. His race is much stronger than humans and are extremely skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatants. When Boba Fett was young, Bosk was his mentor, and the two went after Mace Windu together. Over the years, Boba Fett and Bosk ended up becoming enemies, and by the time we meet them in The Empire Strikes Back, they're competing against one another to be the one who finds the Millennium Falcon for Darth Vader and captures Han Solo for Jabba. I've seen a few different promotional photos for Bosk in Return of the Jedi, and I've read that he was briefly in the movie. I've also seen that the actor who played Bosk is credited for playing the role once again in the third film, but I've watched the scenes that take place in Jabba's palace and on the sail barge specifically looking for Bosk, and I just can't find him. Maybe his scenes were cut, or maybe I just missed him, but either way, watching Return of the Jedi didn't add anything to the character for me as a kid. Regardless of anything I learned online as an adult, I thought the figure was pretty cool. When I played with my action figures, Bosk took on many roles, but none of them were really related very much to the character that he played in the Star Wars universe. To me, he was just a cool space alien who kicked a lot of butt. Many of his adventures ended with him being killed by one of the good guys, and occasionally ended with getting killed by one of the other bad guys. He was never very high up on my list, or at least not as high up as somebody like Boba Fett or Luke Skywalker, 
But when it came to the alien action figures in the Star Wars galaxy, Bosk was one of my favorites. What did you think of the Bosk action figure when you were a kid? Were you a fan of the bounty hunters from The Empire Strikes Back? If so, which one was your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up, and it would be really helpful if you would share it on social media. If you enjoy my content, please click that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it. And one last thing, if you're a fan of toys, you should know about Toylana, the biggest toy show in the southeastern United States, held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit toylana.com for more information. As always, thanks for watching.